Once you have opened STK10 and named your scenario, you will be greeted with three windows, your 3D graphics window, your 2D graphics window, and your STK objects window. You can go ahead and close out of the STK objects window. Configure your 3D and 2D graphics window for ease of use. You will notice both of these maps are of the world map. Go ahead and zoom in on the North American part of each map. We will now be adding a city to our map. To do this, we will reopen the STK objects window. From here, click Place, From City Database, and then Insert. Search for Omaha. Once you have searched for Omaha, you should see a list of cities. Click Omaha, Nebraska, and Auto Select Color. Click Insert. Once you have confirmed that Omaha has been added to your map, click Close, and then you can go ahead and close out of your SDK objects window as well. You'll notice Omaha is on both the 3D and 2D graphics window. We will now insert an aircraft. Reopen your STK objects window, select aircraft, and insert default aircraft. Once you have confirmed your aircraft has been added through your object browser, close out of your STK objects window. Rename your aircraft by right clicking and selecting rename and rename it Eagle Eye. We will now be giving a flight path to Eagle Eye by going to its Properties window by right-clicking and selecting Properties. You may also double-click. Ensure that your Properties window does not cover your 2D graphics window. You'll now be applying a route to the Eagle Eye by left-clicking on the 2D graphics window. Ensure that your flight path exceeds 24 hours. Once you have confirmed this, click Apply and OK. You will now zoom in on the eagle eye. You may do this by using your scroll bar on your mouse or by using the zoom feature. You will now be remodeling the eagle eye. To do this, reopen the properties window. Go to 3D graphics, model. Use any model you desire. For this, I'll be using Hercules. Once you have found your model, click Apply and OK. We will now be adding a satellite. To do this, reopen your STK Objects window. Click Satellite and Orbit Wizard. Click Insert. We will be using a circular type satellite and we will be naming this satellite ComSat. Use all other default features for now. Click Apply and OK. You should see your satellite in your object browser. We will now be adding and defining a chain. To add a chain through your SDK objects window Select Chain and Insert Default. Click Insert. Once you have confirmed the chain has been added, close out of your SDK Objects window. Rename your chain Omaha to Eagle Eye. Once you have done this, we will be defining the chain. To do this, go to its Properties window. From here, we will be assigning objects in the order in which they need to be received. You just need to reference the name to know the order. Omaha to the COM satellite to Eagle Eye. Once you have done this, click Apply and OK. Once you have successfully made a chain, we can create a chain access report. To do this, right-click on the chain, 
Click Report in Graph Manager. Make sure that chain is selected and your Omaha to Eagle Eye chain is selected. Ensure that Show Reports is selected off but Show Graphs is on. Select Chain Complete Access and generate a report. Creating a GPS network is easy in SDK 10. To do this, open your SDK Objects menu, select Satellite, and then select Load GPS Constellation. From here, click Insert. You should see many satellites come into your 2D and 3D graphics view. We will now define a complex chain. To create a complex chain, open the SDK Objects menu, select Chain, and insert default. Go ahead and close out of the SDK Objects menu. Right click the chain you just created and rename it Eagle Eye to GPS. From here, right click and select its properties menu. From here we will be adding objects to the assigned objects. Select Eagle Eye and the GPS constellation. Click Apply and OK. To insert a window in the aircraft, we will want to insert a sensor. To insert a sensor, Open the SDK Objects window and select Sensor and Insert Default. Select Insert. From here, select Eagle Eye and OK. Rename your sensor window. Changing the angle of the sensor is easy. To do so, right click on the window and select Properties. From here, go to Basic Pointing and instead of the 90 degree elevation, we're going to make it negative 90 degrees. This will flip the sensor 180 degrees. To be able to see what the eagle eye sees, we will need to make some adjustments to the chain. To do this, right click on the chain and select properties. Instead of eagle eye, have the window assigned to the objects window. Ensure that it's in the correct order Select Apply and OK. Now that we have set up Eagle Eye and all the satellites, we can play the animation and see Eagle Eye on its flight path as well as all the satellites in orbit. This concludes this lesson of STK-10.